everybody welcome back to my channel this is the edited mom and today is going to be all about how I organize toys how I keep all of my toddlers toys in check and not let them overrun my home I'm going to be showing you all of my tips and tricks and exactly how I organize my toddlers toy box so if you'd like to learn all of my tips and tricks just keep on watching So Chloe's toy box, as I call it, is actually just a bookshelf from Target. It's the Threshold brand, and it comes in either a 4, 6, or 8 shelf option. I know IKEA has a similar shelf system as well, and the Target one comes in a few different colors if you're looking for that. The bins I have in there are um, the Pillow Fort brand, again from Target, and they're the, just the 13-inch fabric storage bins. The very first thing I do is completely empty out all of her boxes by dumping the toys onto the floor. Then I line up all the boxes and I start sorting the toys by category. I think I had something like large and small stuffed toys, musical toys, her puzzle toys, things that go like her pulley toys or any um, vehicles she had, play pretend toys, blocks, teething toys, rattles, and etc. If there are any toys that have missing pieces, I put those in to the side until I can find all the pieces and then sort those into the correct categories. Any really small items I put together in pouches and anything that is not a toy and has mysteriously ended up with the toys gets tossed aside until I can put it away later. Here I am separating all of the books that she has that are like learning and fun books, the ones that I don't read at nap or bedtime and I separate those between the six boxes. Then what I do is a little bit extra and kind of unnecessary, but I sort each category into the boxes, making sure each box has like a puzzle toy, a musical toy, etc. I also prioritize putting the larger toys in first to make sure that it all fits. I do this until all the toys are gone and sorted into the boxes. I actually realized that there were toys still over the apartment, so I went to go grab those and then sort them into the boxes as well. Okay, so this is all of the boxes all filled up. And what's left? A bunch of things that need to be sanitized and things that she doesn't really play with. Things that are for chewing, teething things, rattles, she doesn't play with anymore. And these all go attached to her car seat, but she's not really into them anymore, so they'll go into storage until the next kid. Also, there's these that don't really fit. These puzzles for Melissa and Doug that don't really fit in the boxes. These mega blocks and this little musical thing that goes on her crib. So all of those extra things unfortunately 
didn't fit like the puzzles and the blocks they didn't fit in the toy box so they kind of just put to the side and she gets to play with them whenever so believe it or not that's actually all the toys she has around the house so at the beginning of the day i'll let her pick a box and those are the toys that she gets to play with for the day she plays with those and then at nap time and then again at bedtime we put all of the toys back in the box and then they go back in the little bookshelf so I don't have toys thrown all over the house at all times of the day. With this system she also doesn't get bored of her toys because she's playing with a new set of toys every day. toys and keep them under control and from being all over the house at all times. I redo this process about every few months or as needed so we're not completely overwhelmed with all the stuff she has. If you guys have any tips and tricks that you'd like me to know or all of the uh, viewers just leave them in the comments section down below and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and hit subscribe to get more videos on how to keep an edited and simplified life. I post videos every Tuesday and I'm the edited mom across all my social media. Thank you. I'm going to show you all of my tips and tricks on tips and trick. If you have any tips and tricks on how you keep your daughter, your kids, um, so close, so close, so close. Do you know your voice box?